What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 MT video and today we got budget baller cards that you guys need, we're probably going to do top 10 in my opinion for I would say under 15,000 MT. No, make it 20,000 MT. So, under 20,000 MT. Um, before we get into the video, drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Like the vid. Sub if you are new for a chance at winning um, 20,000 MT. So, drop the sub, baby. Post it every day, two times a day. Um, let's get into it. So, we got budget ballers, okay? Now, let's get into it. We got budget baller alert cards. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So, one budget baller card that is under 20K. It's crazy, Mr. Ray Allen. What do you say, Bugs? Ray Allen? Oh, it's an Amethyst Ray Allen, no less. Amethyst Ray Allen with these crazy stats are under 20, that is under 20,000 MT. And his stats are crazy, I'll go over them. He's literally rocking around 18K. And it is an Amethyst Ray Allen, it's gorgeous. So let's go over stats. Um, three point shot, 94. On PS4, he's probably cheaper too. Mid range, 89. Post fades, decent. Post hooks, decent. Nah, it's terrible. My bad. Dunk's not bad. Passing's good. Steal, perimeter D, pretty good. Rebounding's not there, obviously. It's Ray Allen. He's a cheeser. He's a good player in the, in the position, in the, the three-point range. Um, corner specialist, teardrop, volume shooter, tireless scorer. All this beautiful stuff. Does he have green machines? He has green machine, too. Um, does he have quick draw, though? He does not have a quick draw. That's the one downside to him, but it's okay. Um, let's look at it. I know there's a lot of good cards. Another really, really good budget card that's super underrated in my team. I mean, he's so underrated. Stefan Marbury Ruby. I'm not even gonna lie to you. His jump shot is money. I get a ton of green releases with him. Um, make that Amethyst. You could get the Amethyst for really cheap now. Um, you get the Amethyst for around 20,000 MT. Honestly, one of the better point guards in the game. I literally said a lot of youtubers been saying how good he is and i agree bro i use him a lot he's a beast i've used him many times he's got 87 3 90 mid-range um his offense is gorgeous his passing's great even his defense is pretty solid at amethyst his speed's a 94 his speed with balls really good his excels really good his verticals really good strength he's a complete stud he's even got really good badges and he's got Quick draw, he's got green release. He's just a, a money, bro. He's money. Um, really recommend this card as well. Um, let's look at my lineup. I do have a lot of budget cards that I do recommend. Another really good budget card right here. Big country, bro. He is so good for me as well. He's off the bench. I started him not too long ago. Bro, he has a great post move, great post moves, great mid-range. Um, he's a complete beast, pretty much. He's got 80 88 posts. 88 post moves. He got an 88 pretty much all posts. He got a great mid-range. Three's going to lack. His dunk's great. He's a tall guy at 7 foot. 86 blocks. Great rebounding. He's a complete beast. He's got uh, gold badges. Pretty good, bro. He's a pretty beast. Pretty beastly overall. Would recommend you do pick up Bryant Reeves. Not a bad card. Let's see. Any other budget cards we got? Um, Brandon Ingram isn't too budget. All right. Let's go over to the auction. Um, there is a lot of cards. I'm trying to think. Oh, there is one guy, Rudy Tomjanovich, um, Billy Cunningham, Purvis Short. Now, this new card is actually very good. I was looking at it not too long ago. Now, he is sitting at 6'7". He can play small forward and shooting guard. So, a 6'7 shooting guard is pretty solid. He's got good layup, decent post moves, good draw foul, great mid-range, decent three, good free throw, standing dunk's great, driving dunk's good. Um, we got steals good, perimeter D is great. He's got good defense too. Good speed. All right, yeah, this guy's a beast, man. He's a really good card as well. Good badges. I really recommend it. I have not used him personally, but his stats are really good. They should be pretty decent. Another one. We got Chuck Person Amethyst. Super cheap. Could get him to a diamond as well, grinding him. So, first of all, this Amethyst Chuck Person is new card. Not only that, you could upgrade him to a diamond. Not only that, his card is so good that you could grind with him and you don't even know you're grinding with him. So his post moves are actually low key. 
at 72 and 71. So that's pretty cool. He's got good mid-range, good close shot, good three, good free throw, good dunks. So he can pretty much do everything on the offensive side. He's got good passing too. Defense lacks. I mean, his perimeter is at 80. It's not terrible compared to Rolando Black and Pink Diamond, but he's decent. We got rebounding at 82 and 62. That's also decent. Does lack speed, but you could put him at power forward, so that would not be bad. Um, he is rocking at 6'8". Not terrible for a power forward either. Pretty solid. We got um, Rudy Tomjanovic, which I have used. He is very solid, okay? He's got great, great stats. He has a great post moves, great three, great mid-range, decent dunking, and his jump shot is straight money. Um, ball handles are awesome. Steals great. Perimeter D is great. He's literally an all-around beast. He even can rebound, so you could put him anywhere. He's 6'8". He does lack a little height at power forward, but if you rock him at small forward, not too bad. Pretty, pretty, pretty good cards, I would say. Also, new budget cards in the game because new, not new. Harden, Paul George, and Kawhi have all broke under the 20,000 MT mark. And if you don't know their stats, um, I'm sorry. But here we go. We're going to go over James Harden's stats. He is around like 20,000 MT, maybe even under. So he is considered a budget card. And who does not want James Harden on their team? 19K, right under the 20K mark. Here we go. Great stats, bro. You probably know his stats already. But yeah, he's considered budget now. He has broke the 20,000 mark. He is a budget baller. It is James Harden. His defense is terrible, but his speed's great. The badges got 29 badges. We'll go over them quick. James Harden. We got Paul George. We got Kawhi. They're all super cheap right now, man. They're all around the 20K range, and I hope you guys all pick them up. So here's that with this Kawhi. All right. Shooting stats aren't the best, not going to lie. His dunking's pretty decent. He's pretty much an all-decent card with Clamps defense. That's the way I see it. Um, his defense is pretty good. It's the claw. He's going to clamp you up. He's going to play good. It just doesn't matter. It's the name. It's all about the name. Not even about how good the stats are. Dude, it's Kawhi. He's going to play good. He, he's just good. I play with him many times. He's clamps. His three's good. I just recommend the card. He's just a complete beast, man. It's Kawhi Leonard. So, with that said, we got Paul George next. We got a couple other dudes that I will mention. Let's see. Let's go to Paul George. Amethyst Paul Gigi. Um, for some reason, his three is a 77. Don't ask why. I don't know. Mid range is not that good. Listen, there's definitely better budget cards, but I'm just saying that these guys are under 20K and it's like name brand players that you guys know right now, especially if you're young. You saw Paul George play. You're probably going to want him since he's budget. Just showing that out there. There definitely is better budget cards, though. Um, another budget card. Let's look at some rubies. I'm trying to think. Um, Terrence Ross Ruby is a pretty good budget card. Clay Thompson's a good budget card. There's a ton of budget card. Let me think. Uh, Kelly Oubre. The new Kelly Oubre. Ooh. That's a good bid right there. That's also a good bid. Big bids, baby. Come on. No, we botched. All right. So let's go over the Kelly Oubre bid. Um, this card is so good. I love it. He's got great, great shooting stats. Great, great driving dunk. Defense is solid. Better defense than Harden. And his rebounding is amazing. He's 6'7". He plays small forward. He's got good speed. He's a beast. He's tall. He's lanky. Great, great budget card. One of my new favorite budget cards in the game. All right, we're going to end off on this dude right here. This is also a very good budget center. He is so big and meaty. He's mad good or power forward. He's really good for the Cavs right now. Great dunking stats. He's got good defense, and I don't know. He's a bit of beast rebounding. He's going to get you the ball for rebound, so that's good too. And also, last but not least, one of my favorite budget cards in the game. How to use him for spotlight challenges, and honestly, his jump shot is a green release 75% of the time. Wally something i don't know how to say his last name wally something biak i don't know wally skazabrick i don't know dude don't quote me but this is the best best budget shooter in the game besides the new brian winters um three pointer is money i'm telling you right now even if his three pointer was an 80 or an 85 his jump shot is straight green you literally just have to hold the button and not even release it as a green just listen to me 
telling you it's money. This car right here is a budget cheeser, okay? You put him at the starting two, even if you're versing a pink diamond squad, he is going to go off. His stats are crazy. He has amazing badges, and I'm pretty sure even as quick draw, he does. This card stacked. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, bro. Top 10 budget cards. I was a little more than 10, but hope you did enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Stay tuned for some gameplay. Peace out, people.